Well, hey guys, it's Luke and well, welcome to Zion National Park. Now, it's a pretty rainy day today, which is why I haven't yet managed to do much vlogging other than, you know, a few short trail bits, but my goodness, here I am on, um, I think it's called the Canyon Pass Overlook and this was well worth the hike. I don't know if you can see up there, we've got some snow-capped mountains and some distance down there where the road that leads up to our trail. And through this mountain is a 1.1 mile tunnel. There's Simon, almost on the very top rock. Quite a spectacular hike. Let me just try and climb down here without dying. So back in Utah, hi Utah nice to be back inside you. Um, uh, we were in Nevada, Las Vegas. Uh, we visited the uh, the Red Rocks over in Vegas. Um, in Nevada, I should say. It's outside of Vegas. Didn't vlog in Vegas because uh, my mum always told me if you've got nothing nice to say, don't vlog about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, if I was there to see like all the, all the shows and stuff, um, like all the Cirque du Soleil shows, Barry Manilow, <laughs> David Copperfield, absolutely, but I just don't get why it exists. Like, why Vegas, you know, why not just put those shows in other towns and cities and that sort of thing. But hey, some people love it, some people hate it, some people have a love-hate relationship with it, especially the millions of people that uh, go there to gamble, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Um, ooh, this is a bit of vertigo-inducing Right. Whoa. Oh wow. My camera's getting a little wet. <laughs> this isn't actually so the lens itself is weatherproof, the camera not so much. Um it's one of the things you get when you get a cheaper version of a premium model. <laughs> taking a fair few uh, 3D photos in national parks, but I mean, both in Arizona and uh, Utah um, and Nevada, the only real things there to take photos of are rocks, but good thing I actually enjoy taking 3D photos of rocks. Um, they just have a really nice look to them in 3D. And uh, that's sometimes when I watch movies that are post converted in 3D and I see rocks, I usually cringe because they never quite get the, uh, the shape of the rocks right. Um, <laughs> but wow, this is, okay, this is even, even more so because there's no fence here. I mean, yeah. <laughs> never get away with this sort of thing in Australia. Um, we're very legislated, our survival. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's head up there and see what the view is like. Just absolutely spectacular views. I mean, I could probably sit here all day and just, if I packed a sandwich, man, just sit up here and enjoy the views. And there's Simon. Haven't seen him in a couple of vlogs. Well, I don't know. I haven't edited them yet. <laughs> Man, just makes you realize how incredibly small you are in this world, which makes you even, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. <laughs> so there's one of the tunnel holes there. And then if we can look between the tree there, we'll find another one there. So 1.1 miles through this mountain. And that road there leads to the National Park proper. I mean, we 
Well, it's still in the National Park here, but it just keeps going further and further in between those two peaks there. So I think that's where we're headed next, if not for a hike, but for a nice bit of drive and a walk. But really haven't actually planned anything out for the next five days, uh, four days I should say. Um, today's plan was Zion National Park and then get to our accommodation in Magna, Utah, and then just chill. Um, so yeah, and to show you how much of a plan I haven't got, I really don't want to leave. I still haven't bought my plane tickets home yet. So should probably get onto that maybe tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, I've just been enjoying myself in this country way too much to uh, even think about, you know, leaving. So that's been pretty hard. Um, I tell you what though, this trip, like I thought this trip, you know, just driving around going from one place to another would be exhausting, but it has actually been the, uh, the revitalizing, the, the energizing trip that I needed. Um, I mean, how can you not feel at peace with views like this? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think it's possible not to feel calm, serene, and just ready for anything after seeing something like this. You don't have to do up either. So, uh, yeah. This year, guys, hopefully it's, it's the year that... that everything turns out all right. Um, I don't know, there's only one more issue to deal with as far as Disney goes, and we will see how that works out soon. Um, I'm not going to talk about it yet until it's either resolved or whatever, but I tell you, if it goes the way I think it's going to go, I am... Yeah, let's put it let's put it out there. I'm a weird guy. Sometimes things I say, sometimes things I do, don't come across the way that I intend. But uh, yeah, we will find out either tomorrow or uh, when I get back home. So I'd like it resolved as soon as possible because it's just a dead weight hanging over me right now in a place like this. And there we go. More nature in a national park. A couple of mountain goats. Just chilling, having a bud. See if I can get any closer without stirring them. That dude's just staring at me saying, come at me, brew. And this one here just camouflaging itself behind the tree. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I think though this is also the way I need to go to get out. So hopefully I don't spook it for everyone else. It's still like, what the heck? Why are there people in my way? But 
but uh, I'm nowhere near him now. <laughs> In fact, I uh, kind of forgot how to get where I was meant to go. Um, so apparently the path goes around behind here. <laughs> and I got to get over there. That's where to park for the cars is. But this, this bit over here is kind of cool, actually. There's a little bit of a wooden structure just to get yourself around the rock there. So these national parks are actually really well taken care of. Um, surprisingly, I don't think they have much of a budget anymore, but the budget that they have, they really do a lot with here, and it's quite impressive. All right, upwards and downwards. <laughs> what a cool place this would be to take a break in the summer. Um, but overall, this has definitely been my favorite hike of them all. I mean, Grand Canyon was nice, but uh, and the Arches National Park was pretty spectacular as well, but this pretty much has everything a Luke could want. Um, Snow-capped mountains, you're in the clouds. Oh, I just wish this was closer to my home so I could visit it more often. I mean, look at that. And of course, the one thing that I love Love, love, love the sound of rushing water from down in the canyon below. I am indeed going to miss this country very much. Especially now that I've done this trip. Um, Utah and Arizona. My goodness. Um, amazing. The landscapes. The people I've met. And just the general vibe of these places are incredible. And there's just so many rocks to photograph in 3D, you know. So uh, maybe I should start my own separate Instagram for rocks in 3D. And there's a waterfall down there, which still has some river ice in it. That's quite amazing. Uh, snow, man. Thank you, Cons, for making these shoes. These are literally the most comfortable shoes I have worn. Um, hopefully, before I leave, I can find a Converse store and buy another pair because I have run through these shoes. And look, it's... Ooh, it's the rare Simon. I'm sorry. Look, people, he does care. And there we are. The last downhill stretch to our beautiful Volkswagen by Sixth. Yeah, hit me up Sixth. I'm always open for uh, sponsorship deals on my travel vlogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, not that anyone would really want to watch these anyway. All right. Now we go through the tunnel and I guess into the other canyon.
and all of a sudden we are here. Where is here? Here is Dizzy. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, here we are at Meadow in Utah. Sorry, I uh, forgot to uh, finish the vlog back in um, Zion National Park. We ended up, you know, just catching the uh, GoPro footage, which uh, in full will be on my second channel if you want to have a drive through the Zion National Park. I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know if it's actually any good. Um, and then also, <laughs> yeah, so we're now halfway between where we were and Salt Lake City. In fact, um, Magna, Utah is where we're actually staying. So just over by the uh, International Airport, I think. Um, but yeah, man, look at the mountains. We're back in snow-capped mountain territory again. I am super duper super duper duper hooper whoop whoop excited about that. Um, if you can't tell, I like mountains. I like snow. Um, there was plenty of that also in Zion, but um, not to the extent that I want. Let's flip the screen around so I can see myself again. <sighs> That's right. That's right. I look gorgeous. I look fantastic, don't I? Lovely, lovely. All right. So, yeah. Thank you guys for following along. If you haven't already, uh, subscribe. Thank you. Um, hit the thumbs up. Let's me know that you are... Uh, like what you saw and don't hit the thumbs down just hit the thumbs up um and ring that notification bell if you haven't already lets you know when there's an upcoming video um so there should be a few more of my usa trip um yeah i'm just cutting my trip a little short i don't know if i've told anybody uh on the previous vlogs this yet um yeah i'm going to uh skip los angeles skip hawaii um and I'm actually, okay boys, sit down for this one. I am going to skip Singapore on my way home, but all things go well. I will be in Singapore at the beginning of March for my birthday. So it just ended up cheaper that way, flights. I've been looking at flights the last few days. I haven't booked them yet. Um, just, you know, I only have to spend $200, actually less than $200 on flights if I go straight from Salt Lake City to Adelaide. Um, and then it'll only cost me less again if I just go from Adelaide to Singapore. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. I'm not really in a position right now where I can just throw money at extending a vacation for no real good reason. Um, yeah, I just can't. Um, I'm already extending here um, as much as I can. So I'll have a few days here without Simon. Simon heads off on Saturday and then from there I'll be having just a few more days just to decompress, uh, enjoy the snow um, and all that sort of thing and just enjoy the peace and quiet and just uh, reflect on on what's happened in the last 12 months and what is going to happen in the following 12 months. I mean I have no plan. All I know is that I need to get a job, work really really hard Potentially, I'll uh, get lucky enough to get a green card through the green card lottery, and then whoo, who knows? <sighs> so this year is the year that can go either way. Um, he's hoping it goes my way, um, or I should say God's way. God's way is my way, so you know, either way, it all works out in the end. So, guys, on that note, I will say our vlog, and I hope you're all well. See you on the next one.